Hello everyone, back for another recorder lesson. All right, this is Ricky Recorder. Now, I didn't tell you that before, did I? Today, lesson three, this is lesson three. Lesson three, we're going to be focusing on a song that's very important in music history. It's called Ode to Joy, and it's by Beethoven. Now, this piece was written for a symphony orchestra and, and chorus. It's part of his ninth symphony. Now, we've simplified it, okay, so that you can play it and play it really well. There are three parts. Today, we're going to only focus on part one. All of this, all of this, this whole sheet is only part one. Some of you will be playing part two, and some of you will be playing part three. Part one is in four parts, four lines, like all the parts are. <clears throat> um, you're, you're going to be going into C and D. So B, A, G, C, and D, a lot. Those are the five notes we're going to focus on, on this part. Uh, there's a different rhythm uh, at the end of line one and line two and line four. Quarter, dot, eighth, half note at the end of these lines. One, two, and four, as you see. So I'm going to play the whole song, but when you practice, I want you to focus on line number three. It's the most difficult line. It has those eighth notes in it. Can you see? Line three. That's the one that's the difficult one. So I'm going to play the whole piece. We're going to review our notes and play, the, and then I'll play the whole piece. And then I'll give you some pointers on line number three. Okay, let me put this down. Let's review. You notice that Mr. Fowler is not using the other hand. I've switched back to the way everyone plays a recorder. So I'm using my left hand, just like you. I'm using my left hand and my right hand is holding the bottom. Remember, we're not covering up anything. Let's go over our five notes. Note number one is B, then A, then G, then C, then D. And here they are. Now A. G. Now C, remember C is just like A, but we lift up our first finger, boop, now we're playing C. This is C. High C. Not low C. High C. And now I take my thumb away in the back. Boop. Bam. Now we're playing high D. So we have. And those are the five notes we'll be using for this song. Let's look at the piece one more time. And I'll hold it here for a second so you can see all the notes. And then I'll play the whole song. It's in four lines. We start on our first line and we go all the way down to line four. The most difficult line is line three. You guys ready? Okay, let me play it. Line one, line two. That's line two. Line three, the difficult part. Line four. Now I have a little surprise for you. I'm going to play the music, but I'm also going to have background music. I'm going to go turn that on right now. And you'll see what it sounds like when we play it. And then I'll turn it off in the middle. Let me go turn, start the music. Okay, here we go.
Now you know what it sounds like to have the music behind you and play it. You want to try with me? All right, let's get through this part, listening, and then we'll play it again at the end. Line three. Line four. All right, everyone, line one, let's try it. Ready and go. Now there will be other parts, like I said, a little bit more difficult. There's two other parts that I'm writing for it, but it will all be wonderful all together. Line three, let's look at it and then I'll end the, uh, end the video. Line three, I'm gonna do it very slowly for you. I'll do it two times. Join me on the second time. Here's line three. Watch out for the B, C, B, G, B, C, B, G, B, C, B, G. My thumb is not moving. My, my thumb is not moving. B, C, B, G. Okay. That's a high D. Now you want to do it with me? One, two, very slow. That's the hardest line. If you can get that down, you can do the whole song. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening. Okay, bye-bye.